Texas, we know, remains a red state today following a Republican sweep of all statewide offices. And of course, the marquee race was for governor, but we were also watching big focus on the attorney general's race last night. So we've got the man again, political reporter Jack Fink is here. He streamed the results all last night, and you're walking us through, Jack, where we stand today. Well, Nicole and Doug, all of the Republican statewide candidates defeated their Democratic challengers by double digits, except for the attorney general. And we'll going to start with the governor's race, though, where Greg Abbott has won a third term, earning more than 4.4 million votes, a high for a Texas governor with 55 percent of the vote. Democrat Beto O'Rourke had 44 percent of the vote. In the lieutenant governor's race, Dan Patrick defeated Democrat Mike Collier in a rematch from 2018. Patrick won 54 percent of the vote over Collier's 43 percent. That's also an 11 percentage point win and a wider margin than four years ago. Attorney General Ken Paxton beat Democrat Rochelle Garza by nine percentage points, 53 to 44 percent. Both candidates addressed their supporters last night. The fight is not over. They're going to continue to come after me. They're going to continue to come after Texas. They're going to continue to come after Republicans around the country. And we cannot let them win. Texas is worth investing in. And there is momentum and support for the issues that we centered this campaign around. During her campaign, Garza sharply criticized Paxton's legal troubles, just as his Republican challengers did during the primary earlier this year. He faces a trial on state felony fraud charges and separate allegations of bribery made by his office's former top lieutenants. Paxton has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing in both cases. One political analyst we spoke with says while Democrats made this an issue, it did not turn out to matter to most voters. The idea was that this race might be a little bit different than the other ones, but ultimately that was more of an idea than a reality. Rochelle Garza, ultimately as attractive of a candidate as she may have been, was still a Democratic candidate in Texas who began the race with no name recognition. Paxton told supporters reports of his demise were exaggerated. He said he will continue to file legal challenges against the Biden administration to protect Texas residents from federal government overreach. All right, Jack, thank you so much for the analysis.